Welcome to Good Guardian Canine Working Dog. Good Guardian Canine Working Dog, more than just dogs. The interview with Manuel Corto Jr. interviewed by Robert from Frontline Pressa. Hopefully you're following along. Um, it's been quite informative, very informative. Um, historically speaking, he's dealing with a lot of the history and the makeup of the Pressa, the temperament of the dog and things like that. Take care of yourselves, take care of your families, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, give me one second. All right, so I pinned the uh, I pinned the website down at the bottom here so everybody can see it. Um, I'm on the website now, so you go ahead and uh, if you want, you can explain to everybody, you know, all the work that you've been doing over the recent months and you know, what the website, what the intent of the website is, what we're going to use it for. Um, I've, I think it's very beneficial. I'm looking at a bunch of dogs. You can, it gives you the ability to look at dogs from the seventies, you know, the forties, you know, and so on and up. And you can see, you can see the comparison in the dogs. Um, so go ahead. I'll let you uh, give everybody uh, the explanation and, and, and describe your uh, website for them. Okay. I want to start explaining the reason why I decided to make it. Uh, under the name Irema Curto, because all this time our website was famous because all the articles talking about the breed, all the photos that my father made and everything. But I was thinking that only one kennel, because at the end of the day, of the day we are also a kennel like you, like any other kennel. Okay, so we have our production, we sell dogs and all, all those things. Okay, but we have that historical part that was very big. It was huge for only one kennel. So I was thinking that this corresponds to all the Presa Canario community, not only for Yamagurto. Because my intention is that people that don't have a great impression for us, because people that started with the dog Canario don't have a great impression for us, they are starting looking at it with new eyes, like something objective, what it really was. So the Presa Canario, Presarve, that is preserve the Presa, that, that's the meaning, have two parts. One part is the pedigree, and now we're going to explain the museum part. The museum part, you have three parts. The first one is a full gallery of photos of Presa Canarios of different decades, also including before the 1970s. So you can see the type of the, of the dogs. Um, and there always we are updating new photos that we find along all the internet. Before the 1989 are photos uh, from any type of dog that is press, considered Presa Canario or this related. And after the 18. 99, all of those dogs are within the standard. And you can see some of your dogs, Robert, there. I think there are three of them that are within the standard. And that's the intention. So people can see how a Presa Canario must look like. That's the, in the intention. And to see the different years and how the Presa Canario uh, have been developing and everything. It also have I think that this is the most important part because most of people don't know the things that I have been explaining at the uh, beginning of this life. That this uh, timeline of the Presa Canario history complete since the beginning to now. You don't need to read the full book of my father and you don't need to go to, through all the internet to learn about the Presa Canario. You, with that, only with that, you will learn a lot about the origins, the purpose, the mixes that were made that nobody in the past talked about the about the bridge used to create the, the Presa Canario. All of them, yes. Uh, uh, Spanish Presa, uh, Spanish dogs and Majorero, only that. And there's no lot of because they are not a black Spanish bulldog and there is not black uh, Majorero. So it's because the Great Dane and a lot of things so people can understand. I think that with the timeline, people can understand. And it also has my father's book translated because my father's book is not because it's my father's book. 
is the only really professional and objective document that we have about the creation of the Presa Canario talked but so, by someone that was in the first place living all these things. And it's made of articles that was published on El Dia newspaper about the th things that were happening in that exact moment. Okay, so that's the museum part of Press Army. So people can learn about the Presa Canario history. And then the beginning of everything and the most important part is the pedigree, digital pedigree part. Okay, let's see. Uh, our dogs have been in the VCA, in the VCE from Spain, three years under Irema Curto origin book, and then with the UKC. When the Presa Canario started to be Dogo Canario, we were, that started in uh, 2001, Presa, uh, Dogo Canario, no Presa Canario anymore existed in that time with an standard and everything, because it was Dog Canario. Three years registering our own dogs under LOIC, that is Libro de Origen and Hirema Curto, or our in book. And in 2003, uh, since the problematic with the aggressive dogs in the European countries, they were asking for pro uh, uh, official pedigrees for any pedigree company, uh, so we can sell dogs to those countries that were our main market. Okay, so um, since we wanted to continue breeding Presa Canario and people can't register their dogs on Irema Curto because it's only for our dogs, we made, my mother and my father made all the, um, uh, all the work, all the process to be able to register on UKC. That's the reason when you go to the UKC, to the accepted uh, kennel clubs to make a UKC pedigree, you can see Irema Curto kennels because we had our own pedigrees. But since this problem that we have with the UKC, that they don't have also the original standard, because when you work with a club, that club is representing you. If they have this standard, you are that the standard is representing you also. You are breathing under that standard. If that standard is wrong, because the, VC, the UKC standard, I don't know what happened there, because when we sent all the information, it was the 1899, uh, sorry, the 1989 standard, you know, but in the 2017, they made some changes to make it more similar to the VCA.